Professor uh, Clausus, can you uh, run the re-enlightenment program at uh, uh -huh. uh, New York University? Can you tell us a bit about what it means, first of all? Sure. The, the re-enlightenment project is, could be understood as an academic startup, in a way. It was a small group of people who felt that they wanted to be able to create new opportunities for discussion, and then particularly discussion about the situation we find ourselves in now, which is that we live and work in Enlightenment institutions and follow Enlightenment practices, but those are under real pressure for a whole set of economic, social, financial reasons. And there's a legacy then that we have to decide how to handle this legacy. Well, we actually hope to get out a new kind of, of output, which is we, what we call rubrics or tools to think by, that these will go up uh, on a web page connected to uh, the number of web pages that the Real Enlightenment Project has constructed. And the idea is to begin to kind of turn outward and, and share those things that we've discovered as useful ways of thinking or tools for figuring things out. So in 1784, a German professor of philosophy, Immanuel Kant, wrote a very short essay in the Berlin newspaper, an answer to the question, what is enlightenment? That, that was the name of the essay. And his definition of enlightenment involved the idea of humanity, as he put it, liberating itself from its self-imposed immaturity. So it serves both our own purpose, uh, it, it turns inward in the sense of how can we continue this work, but for the first time it's, uh, you know, Balliol is a launch for a, a way of being able to make this more public and uh, accessible to a wider audience inside and outside the Academy. Thank you.